So tell me everything I need to know about Keychain. Hello and welcome to iPhone Black and White, the video series dedicated to help anybody become an iPhone expert, even you. Okay, in this video we are going to discuss Keychain and everything that you need to know about Keychain, if it's something that you should be using, whether it's safe, what exactly is it, and, and what happens if you need to reset it. Uh, because some people run into issues with keychain, so we're going to kind of take a quick look at all of that. So, with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, so keychain, what is it? Uh, simply put, it is a feature that is going to be on your iPhone, on your iPad, even on your Mac. And actually, now it's even being used like with Chrome uh, on a PC computer. So keychain, uh, you can find it anywhere now basically, and what it is, is a way for you to kind of keep your passwords stored, and you can actually keep them on your device and then back them up to the iCloud so that the iCloud will remember your passwords for you. And it's kind of a mixed bag when you talk to people about their passwords because a lot of people will become very reliant on programs that will remember their passwords for them and they don't have them written down somewhere else. So I will go ahead and tell you this, using Keychain is not a bad idea. I would still encourage everybody to try to keep your passwords uh, written somewhere else or saved in more than just uh, one program. Like the way that I do it, I've got them saved basically in a couple different places. So if something goes wrong with one, I know I can still be able to get to them with the other because so many people have so many passwords, it is really difficult to kind of keep up uh, and keep uh, with everything. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in and take a look at Keychain. And really to start it off, the first thing to kind of look at here is some features um, with your iPhone. And we've got a quick video here, so let's take a look. Okay, so we're just going to go on to our phone, we're going to go into our settings, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to get to passwords. We click on passwords and you'll notice that I do not have Keychain enabled here. I am not using my autofill passwords and you need to. In order for Keychain to work properly, you need to make sure that autofill passwords is turned on. And I just choose not to do this on my test phone here because uh, I don't really use it for all that much. Um, the security recommendations, this is actually something that's brand new and it's basically your iPhone can securely monitor your passwords um, and kind of keep track of whether or not um, there have been any kind of compromises. This is a new feature that is not just with the iPhone. There's a lot of different um, companies that are doing this now. Like if there is a big data breach, just just so you understand, let's just say you've got a uh, Yahoo email account and Yahoo has a massive data breach. Um, you can now be alerted to tell you like, hey, there's a big data breach and your passwords may have been compromised. Um, or your account may have been compromised, so go in and change your password. So that's what that feature is. It's brand new. Um, they're just now doing it on the iPhone. So it's a cool thing. You wanna make sure that you have that turned on. That's my recommendation. Now, what I just showed you there is kind of step one, um, as far as I'm showing you, where you actually can go onto your phone, go to your settings, scroll down and click on passwords. Now, if I had been using Keychain, it would have given me or shown me um, on the phone there, like all of my passwords that were being saved with different websites. So that is how you navigate to that. But in order for you to actually turn on Keychain, that's in a different section of your phone. And I'm not taking a video of that because um, it's really simple in order for you to get to it. All you're going to do is go onto your phone, click on settings, click on your name, 
click on iCloud and then scroll down and turn on keychain. It's just if it's turned off, you just switch it to green. And we're gonna read through some articles here uh, and they will give you step-by-step -step instructions as well. So turning on keychain is very, very simple. It's not difficult at all. So let's go ahead and kind of look at some of these articles here. All right, so once again, we're only using articles from support.apple.com. They will be linked in the video. So this is just how to set up iCloud Keychain. And like it's saying here, it just gives you an overview. You can keep your passwords and other secure information updated across all of your devices. And this is the nice thing about what Keychain is. So if you've got an iPhone or you've got an iPad, you can actually, if you're using the same ID on both devices, then you don't need to try to save your passwords on each device. You're saving them on one and they will just carry over to the next device. So that's the benefit. That's, in my opinion, that's the main benefit of using Keychain is a way to kind of keep your passwords with you on all your devices. Um, so like it's saying here, how to turn on iCloud Keychain, uh, whether it's the latest iOS or iPad OS, um, you'll just end up going to, like it says here, settings, iCloud, tap on keychain, and just turn it on. It's very simple. This article will also show you how to do it on a Mac if you're using a Mac. Um, and then just kind of a couple things here if you run into problems with turning on keychain. So the minimum system requirement is that you're using two factor authentication. And if you're not using two-factor, you might be prompted to create an iCloud security code, which is a six-digit uh, alphanumeric or randomly generated number to authorize additional devices, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I have already kind of covered two-factor authentication. It's something that you should be using. If you can't use two-factor, you can still use Keychain, um, but you're going to have to create this six-digit code. For most people, this is not going to be applicable to you. You can kind of ignore what I'm talking about. But if you do encounter this, just remember something. Only you have that code. So if at any point you lose that code or you can't remember it, then you're going to have to reset all of your keychain because there's no other way to get into it. So some of the good questions um, that people will always ask, um, what information does iCloud keychain store? It will store credit card numbers, expiration dates, uh, without storing or autofilling the security code. So that would be on the back of the card or wherever that code is. Um, it will store passwords and usernames, Wi-Fi passwords, internet accounts, and more. Uh, developers can also update their apps to use Keychain if the app is on a device that uses uh, or later, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you don't see items stored in Keychain, learn what to do, and we'll get to that in a minute. And this is why I wanted to do Keychain after we just discussed encrypted information, where I kind of cover what end-to-end -end encryption is. And suffice it to say, all you really need to know is that end-to-end -end encryption means that when it leaves your device, it is encrypted. And when it gets to the destination where that information is going, that's when it would be uh, decrypted. So anywhere along the line, no one would be able to intercept that information and be able to uh, find out like what a password is or credit card number, et cetera, et cetera. So this is, you should feel very secure because it's got the end-to-end -end encryption. Uh, what happens when I turn off iCloud Keychain? Uh, if you if you turn it off, you are asked to keep or delete the passwords and credit card information. So this is a really nice feature of Keychain is even if you turn it off by mistake, it's going to ask you like, hey, you just turned it off. Do you still want to keep a copy of all of your information that is using Keychain uh, do you want to keep that saved on your phone and or your iPad and you can click yes, keep it, and then you can just turn Keychain back on and all the information goes right back in. So it's, it's really simple. Um, so, but if you turn it off and then you say, no, don't save it, that's when that information would be 
completely deleted. It would delete it from that device. Now that does not mean it got deleted from the iCloud. And that's what you gotta remember. It's still going to be in the iCloud, but it would delete from the device. Can Apple recover my iCloud security code? This is only going to be applicable to the people that need to make one. Odds are you do not need to make one. And the answer is, like I said before, no. Uh, Apple has absolutely no way to get back your security code, so don't do that. And then how do I find my saved passwords? Um, you can find your safe passwords, blah, blah, blah. You can click on these links. But basically what this is going to cover with both of these links is what I showed you at the beginning on how to navigate to settings and then scroll down and click on password. Okay, the second article that I'm listing here, this is just from the iCloud user guide. And this is really just going to cover some of the same basic information. Um, it is a little less, it doesn't have as many pictures. Um, and it just kind of gives you step-by-step -step instructions um, with subheadings like setting up iCloud keychain, set it up on your Mac. Uh, and then, like I was talking at the beginning of the video, you can now set it up as well on your Windows computer and it will give you the instructions on how to do that as well. Um, super simple, but you will need to have the iCloud for Windows app. Keep that in mind. You cannot use iCloud on your PC unless you actually have the iCloud for Windows application. You've got to have that download in order to make that work. Just wanted to point this out. Okay, so just some real quick troubleshooting because I've given you all the information you really need to know about what Keychain is, what it does. Um, but people can run into issues with um, Keychain not syncing correctly and bringing over your information. And that is what this article does. It's a super simple article. We're not gonna go through everything here, but if you're running into a problem where you've got two different devices with the same ID, but one of them is not um, uh, working with bringing keychain, your passwords or information down, then this article will kind of show you what to do. Um, it would be a really simple, easy fix if you just, kind of go through this article. Like I said, we're not going to go through all of the steps here because odds are you're not going to encounter this. But if you do, it's actually going to be really simple, really easy to fix. Um, it's not anything to really worry about because as long as that information is in the cloud, then the only reason it's not showing up on your new device is probably because you don't have one of the settings turned on. Maybe you don't have autofill turned on. Maybe um, you're not um, in a good place with your Wi-Fi. I, I mean, it may just be something like that. So this article, like I said, I'm just kind of scrolling down here. Um, there are all these different possibilities, but I'll, all I'm going to really kind of tell you with this is no matter what your issue is, this should actually be super, super simple and easy to fix. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. That is a quick overview of Keychain and everything that it is. It is a really convenient uh, feature um, that Apple gives. It's definitely something that you wanna think about using if you're worried about your passwords being saved or you know, you're just worried about you know, some of your information like your credit card information. It's totally understandable that if you if you don't want to turn that on, it makes total sense. I totally get it. But if you feel comfortable doing that, then go ahead and do it. Um, it's not anything that I would tell people like you know, you know, it's a two-edged sword. You know, that information is still in the iCloud. Um, it's encrypted. It's safe. So I would tell people this is something that you really shouldn't worry about. Don't think twice. Go ahead and turn it on. Uh, with that being said, that is this video. It's much shorter, not a lot of information here, but now you've got a good understanding about what Keychain is and what it does and even some things that you can do or articles you can pull up in case you run into a problem. So with that being said, thanks so much guys for taking the time to watch the video. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, come on back, learn how to become an iPhone expert. And don't forget to send this video to your friends and family so I can turn them into experts too. Alrighty, guys. Thanks so much. We will catch you next time. See ya. Survivor.